In this video, we're going to be exploring what a keylogger is. A uh, keylogger can be one of two types. It can be software based or it can be hardware based, which means it plugs in somewhere into your computer. Um, we're going to be going over the software based keylogger. And if you follow the link in the description, you come to this page right here. And just to get it out of the way, I want to say I encourage nobody to do anything illegal with a keylogger, and this is only for educational purposes. Um, if you read the description here, you see one of the purposes for a keylogger could be parental control and computer monitoring. So, uh, parents, you can use this to keep track of what your children are doing on, on the internet, or on the computer, or online chat. Uh, another thing to note is that if you work for a company where computer use is a regular part of your job, um, you might want to be careful what you type into that computer because the thing to note about this keylogger in particular is that it runs in the background and it is invisible and even Windows Task Manager cannot detect it so you'll never know if a keylogger is running on your system. Um, another thing to note about this particular version of the keylogger is it cannot be installed remotely so this tool cannot be used by hackers to install a program uh, remotely through the internet. Okay, so the first thing we want to do and if, and if you want to read all this uh, I encourage you to well, what we want to do is go to the download page. So when you click the download page, you come to the CNET download. Go ahead and hit the green button and then choose save. Okay, and after you save it and run it, you'll be asked to install it. Once you install it in its default location and you open it, this screen will appear. Now, it'll already have something in the password box. I did not type that in there. Just go ahead and hit OK. What You'll also notice that this is just a trial software. It costs $20. But what we're going to do is just we're just going to run the keyboard collector in the trial mode. So when we get to this screen what we want to do is check the box that says always run and then we're going to click activate start. It says it will begin capturing immediately. Select always run. Okay. Now we're going to hit yes. Okay. So notice all the windows disappear um, besides this helpful notepad one. But what we're going to do is we're going to right click the desktop, go to new, Sorry, there we go. Go to new text document, and we're gonna name it um, passwords. Okay, and then we're gonna open it, and we're gonna go to Oops, that's not a real website. There we go. So we can we can say the our mail.yahoo.com password is password zero one, and we can do some other ones like um, sure why not? We'll do YouTube, and our password is. For some reason, this is Corvette. Okay, so what we're going to do is just minimize this document. And then, if you notice the um, desktop icon that comes up with the installation of this program, we're going to double click it, enter the password, 
and we're going to run the key, key logger. And I'm going to make this bigger so we can see it. And on this screen, now we're going to go to view your logs. Hit OK. And now, see what it did is it, it also doesn't just keep track of the letters, it also keeps track of um, the return key, the enter key, the tab key, anytime I, I push the, um, any of those extra buttons. Um, anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. And just have fun with this, but I encourage you not to get into trouble with this. Like I said, this is just for educational purposes. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it.